Eve has just released yet another thread device. This time it's Eve Room. Let me tell you all about it. Eve makes smart home products for HomeKit and they're known for their quality design and commitment to privacy. In fact, Eve says what happens at home stays at home. With Eve, there's no data stored in the cloud, no registration required, and no tracking or profiling so your privacy is protected. One of the things I love about Eve is that their products are not reliant on a manufacturer hub. By using a HomePod mini or the new Apple TV 4K as your home hub, you can connect using Thread. Prior to Thread, Eve products do use Bluetooth for the most part. Bluetooth is low energy and it communicates with your home hub, which could be a HomePod, HomePod mini, Apple TV, or even an iPad that stays powered on at home. The problem with Bluetooth is that it doesn't have the best range and it's slower to respond. Thread is also low powered, but has better range, it's fast to respond, and has great reliability. For more information, check out the video I did over on Eve's channel where I tested the range of Bluetooth compared to Thread. This was a real life trial, and while I expected Thread to reach further than Bluetooth, I was shocked by how far I was able to maintain a connection to my Eve weather, especially when adding Eve Energy, which is a full Thread device, meaning it actually extends the reach of your Thread mesh network. Eve has been a leader in Thread with a lineup in North America that now includes Eve Door and Window, Eve Aqua, Eve Weather, Eve Energy, and now Eve Room. Matter is expected to arrive by mid-2022, hopefully, and once it does, Eve's Thread lineup will be Matter ready. Meaning one day soon, you won't have to look for how it works with Apple HomeKit or Amazon Alexa or Google Home. In theory, you'll just need to know that your accessory works with Matter. I've been a long time user of Eve and I'm excited that non-Apple HomeKit users will one day soon be able to enjoy these accessories as well. Drop me a comment and let me know why you're looking forward to Matter and what ecosystem you currently use. All right, let's take a closer look at Eve Room. This is an indoor air quality monitor. It measures three metrics, temperature, humidity, and VOC concentration. All three of these metrics are available at a glance on the e-ink screen. It's relatively small, and in my opinion, a beautiful design that can be placed anywhere within your home. Air quality is measured in stars, five being excellent and one being poor. And you can click the arrows to find the display option that you like best. Of course, all of this information is available in the Home app, as well as the Eve app, which is where you can see even more information by reviewing historical data by hour, day, week, month, or even year. If you're really ambitious, you can even export to a CSV file for more in-depth analysis. Setting up the device is as simple as it gets using either the Home or the Eve app. If you're replacing your existing Eve room, there's an option to migrate measurements so you don't lose any historical data. The Eve app is a well-known and highly regarded app for HomeKit users as it's free and it allows for more advanced conditional automations that are not limited to just Eve products in your smart home. Another benefit of the Eve app is being able to view your Thread network. Here you can see your Thread enabled devices and see if they're a full Thread device that's plugged in and acts as a router or an endpoint device that's typically a battery operated accessory. By adding Eve Energy, you can unlock even more information on your Thread network to see the path your devices take to communicate and the connection quality to your Thread routers. There's no need to stock up on replacement batteries because Eve Room is rechargeable and comes with a micro USB cord. Eve says a single charge should last six plus weeks. My current Eve Room usually lasts about two months between charges, so I would expect six weeks to be a conservative estimate. Temperature and humidity are helpful to monitor and we'll discuss automations a little later. So what are VOCs? VOC stands for Volatile Organic Compounds, which honestly are everywhere. So being able to keep track and be notified of air quality issues when high VOC levels are present is great, and it allows you to take action. Have you ever purchased a new item like a piece of furniture or a tablecloth off of Amazon, and when you open the package, there's a nauseating chemical smell? That's VOCs. But VOCs are produced from everyday things as well, like cooking and cleaning. I'll share my original Eve room review in the description. I realize VOC levels go way up when I'm cleaning my bathroom. So since then, I know to increase the ventilation. I now turn on my exhaust fan and open a window, as long as it's not freezing cold outside. To be clear, Eve room doesn't clean the air or reduce VOCs on its own. It simply measures the VOCs in the air so you can take action and you can easily create an automation to get notified in a few cool and useful ways. So let's talk about automations and what's possible with Eve Room. If you have a smart thermostat, then you can trigger your furnace to heat or your AC to cool the air. Use the humidity sensor to turn on the humidifier, dehumidifier, or exhaust fan. Turn the exhaust fan on automatically when air quality is low, or even better, use an air purifier if you have one. 
And you can also create an automation to alert you of poor air quality so you can take action, like going and opening a window. The new Evroom impacts the same features and functionality of the previous version, except now it can connect using thread. It's battery powered and to conserve energy, it's an endpoint device, meaning it doesn't contribute to or extend the thread mesh network, but it still benefits from the improved range and reliability of thread. The current Evroom works great for me. Since I have a HomePod mini in the same room, it's a short distance to communicate using Bluetooth. But for those that don't have a HomePod or Apple TV close to the place where you want to add Evroom, this can be a problem. Eve sells a device called Eve Extend to help connect these Bluetooth devices. But now that Evroom supports thread, the range is so much better. If you have a really large house and you're still having trouble maintaining a solid connection, then adding a full thread device like Eve Energy will help to extend the range of your thread network so the connection can reach even further. Honestly, I have a couple Eve Energies and they are the best smart plugs that I've ever used. They're fast and I haven't had a single issue with them not responding. They also have energy monitoring, which is especially helpful when connected to high power devices like space heaters. I know this probably sounds like a sponsored video, it's not. I do wanna thank Eve for sending me the Eve room to test out and thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I always suggest watching content from several different creators because everyone's needs are unique and the more opinions you have, the better. Let me know what you think of the new Eve room. Are you happy about the addition of thread? Would you purchase this? If so, what room would you put it in? I have an affiliate link in the description if you want to pick up Eve Room with Thread. This helps my channel at no additional cost to you. If you'd like to see any specific videos for 2022, then drop me a comment. That's it for today. As always, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.